In question 16, the energy equivalence of 2 gram of a substance is to be calculated and the 4 options are given. The students, we can use the Einstein's mass energy equivalence relation that E is equal to mc square. Here m is given as 2 grams, so in SI units it will be 2 into 10 to the power minus 3 kg. C has a value of 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second, so C square we can write down. And on simple multiplication, we get a value of 1.8 into 10 to the power 14 joules. And hence for this question, the correct answer is option number 4. Now let us proceed to the next question. In this question, this solid which has a negative temperature coefficient of resistance is, and the four options are mercury, nichrome, manganese, or graphite. Dear students, graphite is a form of a carbon which has a negative temperature coefficient of resistance. That is, if the temperature increases, the resistance of the graphite decreases. And hence, for this theoretical question, the correct answer is option number 4. Please note that for the other options, as the temperature increases, the resistance increases as well. Now, let us move to the next question. In question 18, a ray is incident at an angle of incidence I on one face of a prism with angle of prism 6 degree and emerges from the second face. If the prism is dipped in a transparent liquid of refractive index 1.2 and the angle of deviation is 2 degree, then what is the refractive index of the prism material? So the options are 1.2, 1.82, 1.60 or 1.98. This student, we can clearly see that the angle of prism here is very less. So we can write down that the deviation through a small angle prism will be equal to mu minus 1 into A. The mu is the refractive index of the material of the prism with respect to the surrounding medium. So we can write down that since the deviation is 2 degrees, so 2 will be equal to mu by 1.2 minus 1 as the prism is dipped in a liquid of refractive index 1.2, we are using the 1.2 term here, into 6. So, we can write down that 2 by 6 will be equal to mu by 1.2 minus 1 and on further solving, we get a value of mu to be equal to 1.6 and hence, for this question, the correct answer is option number 3. Now, moving on to the question number 19. Question 19 says, in Bohr's model of hydrogen atom, for dynamic stable orbit, the relation between the orbital radius and the speed of the electron V is, and the four options are in front of you. The students, in the Bohr's model of hydrogen atom, the electrostatic force between the nucleus and the electrons provide the necessary centripetal acceleration. The centripetal force required will be equal to mv square by r, and this will be equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught. E square by R square, where R is the radius of the electron orbit. Now, we can clearly see that R turns out to be equal to E square by 4 pi epsilon naught m v square. And hence, for this question, the correct answer is option number 4. Now, moving on to the question number 20. Question 20 says, assuming that light of wavelength 6000 angstrom is coming from a star, what is the limit of resolution of a telescope whose objective has a diameter of 122 centimeters? So the options are 3 into 10 to the power minus 7 radians, 6 into 10 to the power minus 7 radians, 9 into 10 to the power minus 7 radians, or 1.5 into 10 to the power minus 7 radians. This student, the limit of resolution is given as delta theta is equal to 1.22 lambda by d. We can simply substitute the values that 1.22 multiplied by lambda, that is the wavelength, which is given as 6000 angstrom, that is 6000 into 10 to the minus 10, divided by d, which is given as 1.22 meters, that is 122 centimeters. So this will be equal to 6 into 10 raised to the power minus 7, and the units are radians. And hence, for this question, the correct answer turns out to be option number 2. Now let us move to the question number 21. 